Good afternoon, YouTube. Henry the Seventh, sorry, Henry the Eighth, Tudor, has just taken the throne. He's a three-one-two. Um, how uh, how fitting that would be Henry the Eighth around about now, eh? How fitting. National decisions available. Pass the Blasphemy Act. Let's see. Missionary strength plus one. Tolerance of heretics minus zero. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't do that. I'm going to leave it for now. Because soon, we shall get Anglicanism. Uh, well advised. More advisers, eh? Lucky him. If only he'd been well advised in, in real life. If only. Some pretty cool music happening right now. Yes, drill. Drill more. Uh, our royal marriage ended with Castile. Well, we can't have that, can we? There we go. A bit more legitimacy. End of religious civil disorder, okay. Right. <coughs> Where is Brandenburg's men? He's only got two regiments. Still, I wouldn't have anyone come in. Is it a distant war? He's fighting in another war. What's Castile fighting over? What are you fighting over? Oh, you're more in Morocco. Desmond. Oh, we're in Denmark. Damn it. Oh, and what's the wedding bells? Sire, again the advisor interrupts you, their thorough brow telling uh, telling tall tales of concern, sleepless nights. Oh, hold on, hold on, ooh. Aha, I had a really awkward thought that maybe I didn't have my microphone on. Uh, the, the, the succession does not secure your, uh, does not secure itself, your majesty. Oh, there you go. This dusty old study in your advisor's dry voice, resonating a boardroom, wasted potential, accentuates the brightness of the clear day outside. Which is why it is of vital importance that doesn't don't they doesn't they ever stop? Doesn't they ever stop? Paradox. Doesn't they ever stop? In nature, you find yourself saying in, in interrupt the first step, leading an animal into the grave is always procreation. You're not sure if you believe it, only that there is nothing in the voice to convince you that marriage is preferable to the promise of a clear sky. That made very little sense. Uh, Austria, raw marriage with England. Uh, again, five prestige. Uh, England gets sought after bachelor until the end of the game, giving the following effect. Oh! Yearly prestige plus one till the end of the game. Chess on the veranda. <laughs> sure. Austria? Does that mean we don't have a royal marriage? We do have a royal marriage. I don't understand... Oh, that event was weird. Explorer! We have an explorer! Right. One, two, three. Select this unit. Go to Cornwall. Uh, let's just stop you for a sec. One, two, three. Select this unit. Go to Cornwall. You can go back to uh, protecting trade in the English Channel. Thank you very much. <coughs> We can finally start exploring things. Apparently we're trying to uh, improve relations with Scotland. I've got a feeling that's not going to go too swimmingly for us. Let's go ahead and... <gasps> I don't have enough. Oh well. When I can, I, I will get an explorer. <laughs> uh, finally, we can do something with the new world. I can stop kicking myself. Venetians don't seem to be having a great time at the moment. Bohemia? What the hell happened? <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I do not need that. More prestige is good. Oh boy. Um. And if it'll just turn more than on, halt. 
Who do I want to attack next? Uh, should I support Sweden? I mean, let's go ahead and look at Denmark in the le ledgers. Armies. Uh, rivals. Denmark. They would easily be crushed, I think. Navies. I also have far more in terms of navies. They have 24 galleys, as long as they don't go into sort of the inland sea. That'd be fine. I've got a lot of mill tech again. Uh, mill points again. I'm still really far ahead. So, um... Let's go ahead and increase military development. Oh no, a general left us. Oh no. Oh dearie, dearie me. Yeah, I can get an explorer now. Yeah, yeah, trade, trade league dis disbanded. Uh, let's get an explorer. Isaac Carlton. Congratulations. You're going to go and explore the north of the... Yes! Go, my child! Finally, go! Go and explore! Do it! Do it all! Let's go explore everything! Yes! Finally! Look at him go! Look at him go! Not that we're actually going to be able to get over there, because I think our colonial range is kind of crap. But we'll soon see. I think I do have a colonial advisor at the moment. Uh, yes, I do. Plus 20% colonial rank. So maybe. Maybe I can do something about about that. Oh dear. I sneezed. Ah. That was uh, a hell of a sneeze as well. Yikes. I can invest in a new idea. Additional colonial colonists. How? No, I'm going to go for the tech because it means number of more states and a courthouse, which is fine. I'll go for the tech. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've, I'm getting antsy. I need to do. I need to do war. When's my truce for you up? Fifteen oh five. Let's go up to speed four and burn through that. Then changes everything. Birth of colonialism. Where though? Where was it? Did I get it? Because I got it in my single player campaign, which is good. Oh, 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 we've only just figured out how to explore. <laughs> I like it. So we have colonialism. I like that a lot. Um. Ah, oh, that's that's very good. Colonialism is present there. Oh, thank Christ. Execute the bailiff? Uh, yeah, sure, I can tank the prestige. I'd rather not lose uh, stability. I can't send them. No! Uh, France has agreed to share their maps of the North Atlantic with the Ottomans. France? What are you doing? Let's get an agent. Who are you allied with? Denmark. I'll tell you what. We'll support your independence, Sweden. Because I'm bored. He's already finished his exploration. Uh, no, he hasn't, because he's now going to go and circumnavigate the globe. No. Uh, American East Coast. There we are. Off you go. You guys are going to stay off of that because we sort of need you to. There's military tech. Woo! Not military tech, admin tech. I can make states. Pass the act of uniformity. Uh, missionary strength, institution embracement cost. No. Fuck that. Uh, I can. Ooh! I'll leave it for now. My military leaders keep fucking leaving me though. What's my uh, army professionalism looking like? It's getting up. It's going up. Which is the idea. Am I the only person supporting its independence? <laughs> that might have been a bad idea because I might get pulled in at like the worst time possible. Uh, my military... Everything's still up. I've still got all my tech 
like my maintenance and that up, and I have had it up for ages. <coughs> Mostly because I was reinforcing, but now it's just a matter of I don't care. Um. And there. There we go. That's my force limit. Ba 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 da 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 da. Right. Um. The House of Holland. With the union of Henry VII and Anne, we have gained not only a spouse and also a new ally in the realm. The Holland. The Holland is an old and influential family, and their seat in Le Bourg is a, uh, okay. Edward, 044. He's not too bad. Anne, 423. I mean, it's not Holland, it's just a family called Holland. You have a seat in Le Bourg. Okay. Hopefully I'll soon be able to embrace my um, institution. A good Catholic woman, I'm sure. The poor quality of the painting... Well, the poor quality of the painting might explain away some of it. The fact remains the creator was not being overly generous when he endowed this girl with her looks. The ruler of Saxony has offered her hand in marriage. And you are not sure... You laugh or feel insulted. And then again, there is a succession to consider. The ruler of Saxony has offered her hand of a good Catholic woman, I'm sure. A new consort of Saxon heritage following the Catholic faith appears. Royal marriage with Saxony. This will obviously not do. Because I have, you know, I, I, I have an heir. The only one elected Bavaria again. I'm sure that will work out fantastically well for them. Internal conflicts in Hungary. Isaac's back. Isaac, go explore American coast again. Thank you. Heresy. One of your advisors argued with the bishop during your last banquet. Now the church has sent an inquisitor to question the advisor about their ideas. Oh, um, poison the bishop's lunch next time. At <laughs> least. <laughs> oh, gain admin power though. Yes, please. Just poison his lunch. Well, on 1504, so soon I'll be able to attack Scotland. Which means also attacking France. Uh, let's get you guys a leader. Hold on. Francis Howard. You are... Nah, you'll do. Fruity liquor? Did you bring some back? <laughs> you invited your drunken explorer. Fantastic. <laughs> I love it. End of religious turmoil more than Alsace. Lucky, lucky, lucky Alsace. The menace of Wallistock. Make them understand we meant them no harm. If they return, kill them. Ver End of religious turmoil in Verdun. What's the map mode like now? Oh dear. <laughs> Poor Catholicism. And all of it's being converted down here into um, Muslim, Islam. It's um, not going well for the West in this particular game. Right, nearly in 1505, our truce with you will be up in March. Uh, no debate in Parliament, let's fix that. <coughs> Quartering of troops. Let's uh, present a scapegoat. Grand Captain Francis Suffolk dies. Promote meritocracy. Admin support. Uh, lose army tradition. No way. Uh, lose two percent professionalism. I guess. Well, I've just gone ahead and. Uh, fine. Ooh. What happened there? Queen Consort Regency. Wait! He wasn't even... He'd only just become king. He'd only just come of age. Loads of truces expire. Queen Consort Regency. Pomerania. Right. 
Thank you, Castile. Appreciate that, bro. So we we suddenly don't. She's 28. She's a 423, so she's pretty good. Ah, <sighs> Henry VIII just died. He'd only just come of age. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that he died there. Does that mean I can no longer declare war? Because I think my truce just ended. My truce with France just ended. So let's uh, move down into Alencon and uh, Basper too. So I main. The, the justices of peace. Uh, we need them. So I lose 265 ducats. I gain one innovative, innovativeness and everything is just better for a bit. Or I can have a stability. Until the end of the game. We need them. Mission fulfilled. What did I fulfill? Levy the troops. It's like the set finally dealing with our troublesome Gallic neighbours. Are they? Oh! Thanks. Thank you. So I can just go ahead and declare war over subjugation now. So I no longer have a truce with them. Ally with Taconnell and France, who will both come in. Castile will come in. <coughs> Excuse me. Brandenburg has no choice but to come in. Take the capital of Lothian. Scotland is allied with... Um... I just subjugate them. Sure, let's quickly turn those on uh, and do that. De declare war, Castile, confirm, send you guys into Lothian, uh, you come over to here, we will wait a day, there we go. We'll send you into Paris, uh, and you into Orléans. My ports are blockaded, say it ain't so. Okay, Hungary, end of eternal conflicts, fine. You guys don't have a leader anymore. Stefan Rayleigh is not very good, but we will get him to go and hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. That's fine. Here, because here come the uh, everything, everyone else. We have too many leaders apparently. I occupied our lands. I've killed the navy. Of course, I have. Where's my explorer at the moment? Are we sure that I can't go and send send people here? I need more tech, really, don't I? You know, since I'm doing this, we'll go up a tech. We're 12 years, 13 years ahead of time. Boy. Superior unit types. Really? Already? What what sort? Condotta infantry. With an enemy army right there. Do I really want to do that? Not, yet, not really. Exploration finished. Quickly, s explore more of the Caribbean Sea. Do it. I could also now declare war on you. Actually, let's do that. Let's um, fabricate a claim. <coughs> uh, can I build a spy network. I can't fabricate claims on you, though, can I? I guess we'll soon find out. Oh, new land claimed. Uh, tax income, base production, base manpower. More tax. Send you over to Nemers. Casile just went and killed that army. Siege of Lothian is over already. England occupied Nemers. Um, cool. We took Lothian. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, here comes the end of the episode. I can get a new idea, apparently. Ah! Colonial range, 50%. That should do something for us. I know that we're about to 
English ideas advance. Lucky us. Colonial range. Lucky us. Well, that's the end of the episode, but can I actually send people over to do colonies in maybe Newfoundland? Yes, I can! It's it's glorious. It's glorious. We will send someone we'll send our colonial advisor, colonial guy over there, to make colonies in Newfoundland. At long last we will have colonies and be able to start colonizing the rest of the Americas. Oh, I like it a lot. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. This is it's been a pleasure. Please give me a, uh, a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't for, for more of this uh, Let's Fail at Britain. Bye-bye.